Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Sanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm be ranking the best budget cards in NBA 2K22 My Team in a tier list. As you guys can see on the screen, we have a tier list ranking from S all the way down to D tier. D tier basically meaning I wouldn't recommend picking up these budget cards. C tier meaning you can run these budget cards, but I wouldn't really recommend it. B tier being a really solid budget card. A tier being one of the best budget cards in my team. And then S tier being the top five cards, top five budget cards in the game right now. And you guys can see these are the players on the list. I try to keep them under 20,000 MT. That was kind of my range. So every single card in this list is under 20,000 MT. And a lot of cheap guys that go for five, three, seven thousand MT. So these are the, some of the best budget cards in my team. And we're gonna be ranking them, ranking them on this tier list. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. The first budget card on the list is going to be Pink Diamond AK-47. I do think at this point in the year, he's probably a C or B tier budget card. I'm going to have him in B tier for now. He used to be really good and really expensive. Now he's only around like seven to 8,000 MT, which is pretty surprising because I do think he's still really good. Power forward, small forward, six foot nine, seven foot wingspan, 88 three ball, 92 mid range, 88 speed, 88 acceleration. But he was mainly known and is known for his defense. 97 block, 97 steel, 97, 97 lateral, 95 perimeter, and 90 interior defense. So he was a really good lockdown defender, all fame menace, intimidator, interceptor, clamps, chase down artist, had a decent jump shot, but only on normal timing, and had only base dribble style. But if we do get a Galax Opal or a Dark Rider AK-47, he could be one of the best small forwards in the game. So, or maybe one of the best shooting guards in the game, depending on what position he can play. But I do think for his pink diamond card, I do think he is a B tier budget card. Ben Wallace, 100% in S tier. He's right at the range of 100, or sorry, right at the range of 20,000 MT for his pink diamond card that came out this past Friday. He was in the out of position set. And this card, man, is super elite, just like AK on the defensive end. Shooting guard, small forward, six foot nine, seven foot wingspan. He's kind of like a new updated AK-47. I'm not gonna lie to you because look at the defense, very similar to AK. I would say Ben Wallace a little bit better, a little bit better defensively, but he's a lot faster with 95 speed, 95 acceleration, has 90 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk, great rebounder, 98 offensive, 98 defensive. Can even handle the ball a little bit with 86 ball handle and 88 speed with ball. We look at the animations, has that shift, the dribble style, and has a jump shot on very quick release timing. And then obviously we look at the defensive Hall of Fame badges and pretty much has all the ones you'd want a Hall of Fame. So this Ben Wallace card for around 20,000 MT, he is an S tier budget card in my opinion. Next is gonna be Isaac Bonga. I do think he's super cheesy. I know he's super fun to use, but I think as time's gone on, I do think he's gone a little bit lower on the budget card list. I would say he's C tier, might, might move him up to B tier, we will see. But he's a point guard, small forward, six foot eight, and seven foot wingspan. And that's pretty much it. He's just a tall point guard that has the uh, fundamental dribble style, which isn't the best, has a quick jump shot timing, which is good, but he's just an okay point guard all around. But the reason why he's a good budget card is because he's six foot eight, with the seven foot wingspan, but I'm gonna have him in C tier. You can run the card, but I wouldn't really recommend it. This Doug Dermot card, honestly, he's super cheap, only around 5,000 MT. Bong is around the same, but Doug, Doug McDermott, he's like 5,000 MT. This card just really isn't good at all. I thought I'd throw him on the list though, because he just recently came out and he is super cheap, but he's decent all around stats and badge wise. Like he's decent, really good shooter with really good Hall of Fame shooting badges. But at this point in the year, if all you can do is shoot, it's really not going to help you in your case of being a good card. Also only has this jump shot on normal timing and has that big dribble style. So this Doug McDermott card, really not that good. I definitely would not recommend running him in your lineup. Evan Turner, easily going to be an A tier. That's funny. We got one in each tier, but Evan Turner, easily going to be an A tier budget card. He is actually a super elite point guard for, you know, his price, his budget of around 5,000 MT, maybe 10,000 at the most. You could pick up this Evan Turner card for. He's a small forward point guard, six foot seven. 6 foot 8 wingspan, 89 three ball, 94 mid range, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, decent defense all around, 85 driving dunk, 90 speed with ball, 86 ball handle. But the big thing about this card is when we come to the animations, as shift the dribble style and actually has a really good jump shot base 22, which like Chris Mullen has, Thurl Bailey has, Jimmy Butler has. A lot of good cards have that base. 
and it's on quick release timing, which is super good. So Evan Turner all around, I think is a really good budget card. And I do think he is gonna be an A tier. Might move him down a little bit. He might be high B tier, but for now, he is gonna be an A tier. Jalen Green, I think is kind of on the same level of AK-47. I don't personally think he's as good as Evan Turner. His stats and badges might look better, but his defense is a little bit, you know, the, the interior roll at only a 45. Like, I don't know, man, a 45 interior defense, a 74 block he's got really good stats but if he had a higher interior he'd probably be better than evan turner but the problem with him is going to be his defense is not the best but he has quick dribble style he has a really good jump shot on quick timing so i do like the Jalen green card a lot on offense just defense really not the highest on him but on offense is a super good budget card so that's why he's going to be in b tier next is going to be jimmy butler now he's situational because he's a center power forward but if you have a guy for example like evan mobley right who is a shooting guard small forward what you guys can do is swap them so jimmy butler plays the four evan mobley plays the two and then evan mobley guards the power forward while jimmy butler guards the shooting guard so basically i'm considering this if if you're doing that if you're not doing this he's a d tier card he can't play power forward in my opinion or maybe he's like a c tier card of power forward he can play power forward if you want him to but I would say you do the thing where you have Evan Mobley at the two and then have Jimmy Butler at the four and then have Evan Mobley guard the power forward and Jimmy Butler guard the sh shooting guard. That's basically what you guys should do. So I'm going based off that. He's an A tier budget card. He's only around like eight to 9,000 MT. He's a center power forward, six foot seven, six foot eight wingspan, 93 ball, 93 mid range, 92 speed, 92 acceleration, really good defense on the perimeter, 96 steel, 96 lateral, 95 perimeter defense as a 90 driving dunk, 90 speed with ball, 86 ball and ball handle, can even rebound a little bit, all thing quick first step. Amazing defensive Hall of Fame badges like Pickpocket, Pick Doctor, Menace, Intimidator, Interceptor, Hustler, Clamps, Shooting Badges, has Hall of Fame Sniper, Gold uh, Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Green Machine, Mismatch Expert, he can get Limitless, he can get Dead Eye, he can get Chef, and he can get blinders. If you look at the animations, has the shift, the dribble style, so he can actually move a little bit on the offensive end. Also has the base 22 jump shot on quick timing. So a very similar jump shot to, uh, I think it was Evan Turner that had base 22. Next card on the list is gonna be Chris Stiles Porzingis. Pretty sure he's still an S tier budget card. Amazing for only 20,000 MT. I still think you can run the center and have a lot of success with him. He is a little bit outdated necessarily, he is a little bit outdated to be you know you could say he's a little bit outdated you know only a 75 steel 75 perimeter but he's still seven foot three with the seven foot six wingspan he's still one of the best poppers in the game hall of fame sniper limitless spot up dead eye catch and shoot and corner specialist all in hall of fame and he's a great rebounder and a great defender because of his height and because of his wingspan and he's got one of the best big man jump shots in the game so chris house porzingis for 20,000 mt i do think is still a top five budget card in the game he might get moved down though we will see lance stevenson kind of on the same tier as jalen green i think he's a very solid budget card you guys can definitely run him at the two and he gives you he gives you a really good all-around shooting guard experience he's a shooting guard small forward six foot five six foot eight wingspan like he's just really good overall doesn't really excel at anything necessarily i guess you could say rebounding surprisingly a really good rebounder that's hall of fame rebound chaser menace interceptor hall of fame quick first step bullet passer hall of fame sniper full blinders catch and shoot dead eye hot zone hunter green machine limitless spot up decent defender overall decently fast has the shifty dribble style and has his jump shot on quick timing so a decent jump shot got the good dribble style decent all-around shooting guard i think that's why he deserves to be a b tier for only around 5000 mt i think he is 1000 percent worth it evan mobley i do think is gonna be a little bit higher than jimmy butler and i do think we're gonna have him in the s tier like i said he might get moved down i don't think he's gonna stay in s tier he might though we will definitely see it's just hard with evan mobley and it's hard with jimmy butler because i don't think evan mobley can really play the shooting guard position on defense because he's a little bit slow only 87 speed 87 acceleration lateral quickness at 88 isn't the best so i think it kind of just depends if you want to mash with him at the shooting guard you definitely could so i think he brings an element that an element of surprise basically because if you match up against an opponent and they have i don't know rj bear or they have kobe bryant at the shooting guard position they're only six foot six there's no way they are guarding evan mobley so what it does is it just it just makes a mismatch of like just a crazy mismatch having evan mobley at the shooting guard position then they have to switch their small forward or switch their power forward onto evan mobley and they got their shooting guard now guarding your small forward or your power forward so if you want to run a really tall lineup i do think evan mobley is super elite but it's kind of 
situational base if he's if he's s tier i think if you're just gonna run him at shooting guard i still think he's an a tier but i do think if you use him properly he can definitely be an s tier budget card next on the list is gonna be pink down pal gasol i do think he's kind of in the same tier as these ak's lances and jalen greens he's a decent overall center but he doesn't really excel at anything necessarily he's a decent defender we look at an 84 block 94 interior 87 steel 84 lateral 82 perimeter he's a little bit slow he can shoot the three ball really well good rebounder hall of fame worm rim protector rebound chaser post lockdown interceptor all fame catch and shoot corner specialist set shooter sniper as goal blinders dead eye green machine hot zone hunter limitless spot up i will say in game this card actually plays pretty good he's a really good pick and pop he plays some good defense he definitely snags rebounds got a decent jump shot and has fundamental dribble style which is really good so i think Pau gasol is gonna be middle of the pack in b tier next budget card on the list is gonna be diamond penny hardaway i thought i'd throw him on the list just because i know a lot of people like penny hardaway but honestly i do think he's c tier because he's a power forward center i mean you would have to do so many different rotations with a guy like penny hardaway with jimmy butler and, and evan mobley all you got to do is just flip flop the two but with penny hardaway now he's like your point guard so then you got to have like a tall point guard like a tony ku coach or like you just have to do a bunch of different stuff for this card to be able to use now if this card could play point guard i do think he'd be if he was a budget card i do think he'd be like an a or s tier He's a really good point guard, has his jump shot and very quick timing, which a very quick release timing, which is really good because the problem with Penny Hardaway on his diamond card is his jump shot was a little bit slow. So they did upgrade that and make it very quick. He also has a quick dribble style, which he had before, which is really good. So and like I said, the only problem with Penny Hardaway is you have to do so many different things and a lot of different matchups to get him to actually be your point guard and then have the proper defensive matchup so i do think penny hardaway is still a decent budget card you can run him if you want to take the extra bit of you know you know have to make all these different matchups to run him you guys definitely can he's still usable in my opinion cameron reddish i do think is a tier but very high a tier like i'm talking right on the cusp of s tier like i think he's probably the sixth best sixth best budget card in the game like this cameron reddish card he's super elite but i will say i'm just gonna put rj barrett there right now I do like RJ Barrett a little bit more than Cameron Reddish, but I do think that's very like, you could go Cameron Reddish is better than RJ. You could say RJ is better than Cameron Reddish. In my personal opinion, I do like RJ Barrett a little bit more, but this Cameron Reddish card, super elite, small forward shooting guard, six foot eight, seven foot wingspan, 93 ball, 88 mid range, 94 speed, 94 acceleration, really good perimeter defense, 99 steel, 95 lateral and 94 perimeter defense, 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 89 speed with ball, the one thing I will say about RJ Barrett is he's a little bit better. He's a little bit better on the defensive end all around. And I do like his jump shot a little bit more. I like Paul George's jump shot a lot. Paul George, Paul George on quick timing. And he has that shifty dribble style. But the reason why I like RJ Barrett a little bit more, and they're around the same price. So the price doesn't mean anything. I will say RJ Barrett's a little bit better defender all around with an 84 block and an 85 interior defense. He also has quick dribble style compared to Cameron Reddish has shifty dribble style. And me personally, I like the quick dribble style a little bit better. And I do like Rudy Gay's jump shot a little bit more than uh, Paul George's. And I would say about they're about the same stats and badges wise. The only difference is RJ is a little bit better defender and has the better dribble style and the better jump shot in my opinion. Next on the list is going to be Ardita Sabonis. I do think like even at center, I think he's like an A tier card. At point guard, I think he's a little bit lower. He's gonna be obviously too slow to, pay po to play point guard. So I'd say if you're gonna run him at center, he's A tier budget card. If you're gonna run him at point guard, I do think he's B tier. I'm gonna say you guys are running him at center. I'm gonna have him in A tier. I know a lot of people are really high on this card and so am I, I think he's really good. Point guard center, seven foot three tall, seven foot six wingspan. He's a really good center, 92 three ball, 88 mid range, 76 speed, 76 acceleration. He's a decent defender, 93 block, 85 steel, 80 perimeter and 84 interior defense has a lot of good gold shooting badges has hall of fame dimer can handle the ball a little bit good passing i do think he's just a very solid overall center has a good jump shot on quick timing but i do think sabonis is an a tier center or an a tier budget center in my or a tier budget card in my opinion at the center position Thurl Bailey, I do think is going to break the last spot for the S tier. I think Thurl Bailey is still one of the best budget power forwards in the game. I do think he's super underrated still. He's basically just a Giannis clone. A new Dark Matter Giannis that just came out, or even the Opal Giannis that came out a while ago. He's pretty much the exact same card with really good defense, really good height, really good wingspan. He's got a really good jump shot, base 22. If he had quicker shifty dribble style, 
he would probably be a lot better but throw bailey still really good defensive card and probably the last card in s tier tony kukoc i do think he's b tier maybe a tier i think evan turner is a little bit better and that's kind of who i'm comparing him to so i do think tony kukoc is gonna be a b tier he's a six foot ten point guard which makes him super cheesy but that's pretty much it and the last card on the list is gonna be tala hands bro who i do think is an a tier budget card this card is actually super elite and super underrated for only 5,000 mt he's a power forward center six foot ten seven foot two wingspan and he's just super good overall 87 speed 87 acceleration 88 three ball 96 mid range 90 steel 90 block 92 interior as an 80 driving dunk 85 standing dunk great rebounder hall of fame rim protector rebound chaser post lockdown intimidator interceptor gold bullet passer dimer glue hands quick first step as hall of fame catch and shoot corner specialist the animations has good jump shot on quick timing so i do think tell hands bro is an a tier budget card let me know in the comment section down below what would you guys change about my tier list what players would you guys move up what guys what players would you guys move down hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'll catch you guys in the next one peace